hello guys thank you for tuning into my channel if you are wondering that how a parent mama cell gives rise to baby daughter cells then the answer to your question is through cell division in this video we are going to talk about cell division before we move on further if you are visiting to my channel for the first time hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything in this case in this video we are going to talk about mainly cell division in prokaryotes now in this case what happens the cell division that occurs in prokaryotes is with the help of a process called as mitotic cell division now in this mitotic cell division what happens the parent cell this is the parent cell and these are the two daughter cells the parent cell and the daughter cells are the exact copies of one another they are clones of the parent cell clones means exact copies like a xerox copy this is what happens in the mitotic cell division in the next case if you see the mitotic cell division occurs in unicellular organisms and and in multicellular organisms as well but in unicellular organism if you see this is a bacterial cell and this is an e coli cell in this bacterial cell this bacterial cell will undergo cell division that is only one cell division and that one cell division in unicellular organism is equivalent to reproduction and this e coli cell undergoes reproduction in only 20 minutes isn't that amazing according to me it's amazing because the bacterial cells takes only 20 minutes to form another baby bacterial cell only 20 minutes in the next case as we said that the cell division occurs in prokaryotes as well as in eukaryotes one cell division in prokaryotes is equal to one cell division in prokaryotes is equal to one reproduction but in eukaryotes the reproduction requires many many cell divisions to undergo reproduction as we talking about reproduction we will see that in prokaryotes the reproduction requires one single parent as you see in the diagram there's one cell giving rise to two cells this is only one parent cell it gives rise to two daughter cells then these two daughter cells will further multiply or undergo cell division mitotic kind of cell division to give again two daughter cells and the process continues but in eukaryotes if you see the reproduction requires two parents as in the diagram you will see that this is a male parent cell and this is a female parent cell and with the combination of the germ cells they give rise to a baby Uh, for example in human beings and in human beings the reproduction requires many many cell divisions and in prokaryotes they take very less time for cell division but in eukaryotes the cell division requires more and more time we know that as we discussed the e coli requires only 20 minutes to form the baby daughter cell in human beings if you see you all know that it requires 9 months to form that small baby now what are we going to discuss is the cell division the exact process of cell division what is actually happening now we are going to consider a parent cell this is for example a bacterial parent cell now the most important thing for this parent bacterial cell is that it needs to maintain the genome in the parent cell has to be transported the genome has to be transported to the, to the daughter cell and the genome has to be maintained now you people might be wondering what is a genome the genome is nothing but the dna of the bacterial cell the very very important thing that the bacteria wants to maintain is that it wants to maintain the genome now how is it going to maintain the genome for that we are going to consider an example and what is the example here the example here is that for example there's a parent and the parent has got 100 rupees 
this parent has two daughter cells or two daughters if we say this is daughter number 1 and daughter number 2 this parent has got 100 rupees both the daughters should also get 100 rupees but we know that the parent has only 100 rupees what will this parent will have to do the parent will have to double its amount so that it gives equal amount of its daughter cells this parent will have to double its money that means add more 100 rupees so that the parent has got 200 rupees and then the money can be equally divided into the daughter cells in this case if we talk about the bacteria what is the bacteria going to do the bacteria is going to go for a DNA replication process what is a DNA replication process the in this process what happens is replication the cell makes copies of the DNA so here what is the cell trying to do the cell is trying to multiply its genetic material because in the previous diagram if you see there's only uh, the genome is lesson number but in the second diagram if you see the genome has multiplied it has uh, copied its DNA so now as the cell has got more DNA what the cell will require the cell is going to require more space for ac accommodating that DNA so what is the cell going to do now the cell is going to go for cell elongation process and what is cell elongation process the cell will grow bigger into size in the next step now the parent has got its genome multiplied it has to what is the aim of the process the aim of the process is to produce two daughter cells in this case now the chromosome will start to separate the chromosome will start to move away towards the poles of the cell this will move away this is going to move away and then this process the next process is chromosome separation what is chromosome this this part is the chromosome the dna is the chromosome here as the chromosome has already separated what happens the cell, the cell membrane which is also called as the plasma membrane starts to come closer it starts to invaginate inside the next step is plasma membrane invagination it is moving towards the result that we want to obtain so the plasma membrane invaginates and in the end what happens as the plasma membrane has invaginated the plasma membrane pinches off and at the end what we get is two very beautiful daughter cells the process that we discussed is similar to a process which is binary fission in amoeba you will see that amoeba this is an amoeba this amoeba is unicellular organism and this unicellular organism is undergoing a process of cell division and this process of cell division is mitotic in nature and as it is mitotic in nature what is going to happen here this and these cells are clones their xerox copies of one another the cell division progresses and the process that we already discussed is the same process in amoeba and the process is called as binary fission we are going to discuss binary fission in detail in my further videos uh, so that was all about cell division in prokaryotic cells if you like my video please give us a big fat thumbs up and thank you for watching see you next time